turn. Stars are tracing the sky like city windows. I watch you reflect in your eyes. I moved to Elkhart, Indiana, and started at Elkhart Christian Academy in the third grade. And uh, that's where I met Bailey. She was in my third grade class. We didn't start dating until our junior year of high school. Um, I just kind of noticed that she was really pretty and she had a really nice smile and a funny laugh. She would sit behind me in English class and I'd hear her laughing all the time. I remember I was sitting in Mrs. Ryle's class and I see this little boy come in on the first day of school, well, little, um, and he had, no, he had on like a bright blue shirt and he was talking about food and Ohio State all the time. And I remember telling, I either told Carissa or someone else, I said, I'm gonna marry that guy. <gasps> From the little girl who saw me walk into the classroom in third grade to my absolute dream girl, you are the one I want. The one that has always remained open was getting to walk by your side through everything. Oh my god. <laughs> you look so good. You, you guys are just like so happy to judge presence and just being together is what you're looking forward to. It was like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm proposing this winter. I'm ready to do it. So I, I found the ring and uh, we went home for Christmas break and everything. And uh, her birthday was on January 2nd. And I thought it was a surprise birthday dinner. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so sweet. And I turned around to look at him and he's down on one knee. And he proposed and I said, yes. And it was fantastic. And so it was a really nice memory. And I'm, I'm really glad that her family was there to see it. Watching and observing how you cared for my daughter and how you protected her and loved her. And um, I just knew that she was going to be safe in your care. And um, when you came to me and talked to me and asked for her hand, I mean, it, I didn't hesitate for a second because I knew that you were someone who was going to love her forever. Flowers. They're made from dry bouquets that Caleb's given me before. Oh, I'm still trying. No! <laughs> Caleb, 1,843 days ago, we started our journey together. It's hard to picture a life without you. I barely remember what anything was like before you. You have shown me what it means to be loved and treasured. There is no one who can bring out the best in me the way that you can. I'm the most blessed woman to get to call you my husband. Every day will be so sweet getting to love and cherish you for the rest of my life. I'm so ready to take this step with you and I love you forever, plus a million forevers. Take a moment and look out there, you two, really. Look at these people that have come here to celebrate you guys. There's an incredible group of people out here because they love you. Today, you become a family. Today, you begin to build your family.
by the authority invested in me as a minister of the gospel and in conformity with the laws of this state, pronounce you husband and wife. Caleb, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome the newlywed. I asked Caleb for some of his favorite things about his new wife. Bailey isn't afraid to tell me how it is. Her hands fit perfectly with mine. She is so pretty even when she has just woken up and she gives the best hugs. We've been waiting, I mean, a long time for this. I mean, it, it's hard to, like, put into words, I guess, the joy as a father to know that your daughter is marrying someone who loves her deeply and who will care for her and protect her. Um, that's, I mean, that's a huge peace of mind. This is the good life. So the good life. Hello, everybody. Uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, I just want to say that uh, Bailey and I are so glad that you all are here. This has been a long time coming for us, and uh, it's just been a very dreamy day. He's had a profound impact on my life, and I am glad to know him as a friend who sticks closer than a brother. So please raise a glass with me and toast to the new Mr. and Mrs. Walters. My mind is completely blown at our story and how we got here. I'm in awe that I get the privilege of loving the most beautiful girl for the rest of my life, and the even sweeter privilege of being loved by that same girl. Yeah.